In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a triangle using Python. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the triangle's base and height, and we'll store the values they enter into variables. So we'll have base is equal to float with input and base colon, and then height is equal to float with input and height colon. So what we're doing here is prompting the user to enter in the base of the triangle with the text base colon. The string that the user enters is going to be returned from the input function, and float is going to take that string and convert it to a float value before we assign the value to base. Now we have to convert the value to a float so that we can use it in the area calculation. And we accept and store the height value from the user the same as we did with base. Next, we can actually calculate the triangle area. So we'll have area is equal to and the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So one half expressed as a decimal is 0 0.5. So we'll take 0 0.5 and multiply it by the base and by the height. And that will calculate the triangle area. Next, we can print it out. So we'll have print with area colon as the first argument and area as the second argument. So print is going to print out the text area colon followed by the computed area value. We can save our program and we'll try it out. We'll enter in a base of 10 and a height of five, and we get back an area of 25, which is correct. If we run our program again and enter in values like 2.333333 and 9.666666, we get back this very long area value. We might not need this many decimal digits of precision. We might only need four decimal digits of precision. We can use the round function to reduce the number of decimal digits in our result. We could pass to the round function as its first argument, the result of this expression. The second argument would be the number of decimal digits that we do want. Let's say we want four. So I'll have four as the second argument. If we save this and run our program, and now I enter in 2.333333 and 9.333, 666666. Now our answer only has four decimal digits of precision. If our program needs to calculate the area of a triangle at multiple points in the source code, we probably wouldn't want to just keep rewriting this expression again and again. We could even make a mistake if we tried to do that. Instead, we would likely make a function to calculate the triangle area and use the function where needed. So the function could look like this. We'll actually copy this and we'll have def triangle underscore area and the function will have two parameters b for the base and h for the height and the function will return the result of this expression where base is replaced with the parameter name b and height is replaced with the parameter name h then down here we would call the triangle area function and pass it the base and height and it's going to return the calculated triangle area. So we can save this and then run our program again. And we'll enter in the same base and height as before. And we'll find that we get back the same result, 11.2778. So this is how we can calculate the area of a triangle using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.